With Christmas only three weeks away, lots of people are busy decorating and putting up their trees. But do you go for the real tree or for plastic? News Channel 15's Jesse Hawila joins us with why choosing a real tree might be the better choice. After asking people on Facebook if they preferred real or fake trees, I was very surprised the response was almost 50 50, with a few more people actually preferring artificial trees. Some say the plastic trees are easier to maintain and they are cheaper because they can be reused. And both of those are great points that many can agree on. But did you know real trees are a big benefit to both the environment and the local economy? I spoke with Judy Reifenberg, owner of St. Joe Christmas Tree Farm, this afternoon. And she says when you buy local, the money stays here and stimulates the local economy. Also, real trees are better for the environment because they're biodegradable which when one is cut down, another takes its place. The trees can also remove dust and pollen from the air, produce oxygen, and absorb carbon dioxide. Research shows you'd have to keep and reuse an artificial tree for more than 20 years before it becomes more environmentally friendly than a real one. Judy also says the experience of choosing your own real tree can create family memories and traditions. Where can you go and spend 45 to $50 for the entire family, spend two or three hours, walk around the farm, even buy a pre-cut, get a cup of hot chocolate, and go home with something? That makes memories, and um, that is a big, important thing for a family. Now, tonight at 6, the family tradition Chris Stoller enjoyed with his son. Link will be shared. It's very, very cute. You have to check that out. Now, why he says he comes out to choose and cut their tree is actually very interesting. Jesse Hawila, News Channel 15. Doesn't feel like Christmas weather, does it? No, it doesn't. I mean, but I don't